especially if it's an accounting related client, I want to, I want to know what is their current accounting process. Okay. Right. If they haven't, and usually they're not talking, sometimes if they have a bookkeeper, they're not happy with that usually comes out in that first part of the talk, but sometimes okay. it doesn't. Um, especially, you know, meeting with an accountant can be intimidating, right? People get embarrassed if their books are just in really crap order. So sometimes they're not as forthcoming with information. So I want to know what is their current accounting process? What software are they using, if any? Who is doing the accounting work? Is it them? Is it someone in-house? Had they worked with a bookkeeper? Um, so I want to know their current processes. That's important to me because if they worked with a previous bookkeeper, one of two things are going to happen. Either the books are good or they're not good, right? If they don't work with a bookkeeper at all, they're not good. I can just guarantee they're not good. But either of those, though that answer tells me, all right, there's probably going to be some cleanup or some catch up work. That's going to lead to additional questions. That's going to lead to my discussion about doing a diagnostic review of the accounting records, which I'll have to complete before I can provide a quote. Um, so I want to okay. know current processes. Um, I also want to talk to them about what services do they think they need. And when you ask that question, nine times out of 10, when I ask it, people are like, I don't even know what I need. Okay, well, that's good for me to know. That means that you really don't have accounting processes in place, or you would know what's involved in doing accounting, right? Even if you're not the one doing it, you would know what AP is, what AR is. So that tells me that we need to talk about different types of bookkeeping services and how involved they need, like how involved is the help they need. So I wanna know that. What services do they think they need? That tells me a lot about the client's financial education. How much do they understand their own numbers and their books? Because clients who are savvy on their numbers and who read their reports, that's one kind of conversation. Clients who have never even looked at a P&L, sometimes don't even check their bank accounts. That's a whole other type of conversation. And it's good for me to know that. So I can not only, not only tailor my questions, but also tailor how I'm speaking, right? Someone who is financially sophisticated, I can talk to them at a different level than a client who just started a company and has no idea what a P&L even is, right? So I want to make sure I'm talking to people in a way that doesn't make them feel condescended, right? I don't, I want to feel, I want to be approachable. I want to lessen people's embarrassment. So I want to make sure I'm getting my terminology right. And the terminology I choose depends on the experience of the client. And so asking them what is their current process and what services do they need can tell you a lot about how experienced they are on the accounting side. So those are probably the two most important questions. Um, when I'm when I'm talking with someone who also has some tax issues, of course I want to ask them, are you current on your tax filings? Right. That's going to be number one because that's going to tell me, are there past due returns? Could there be tax liability issues that are going to need research and response? Or are they up to date and they're just, for whatever reason, now's a good time to make a switch. So those are probably my top three. Um, a lot of people will get into talks about what is your gross revenue in that initial discovery call. And that is one of the questions on my booking questionnaire. What was your revenue last year? I don't really use that for more than just getting a sense of what size their company is so that I can know if 350 a month minimum fee is really gonna work. Right. If they if they grossed fifty thousand dollars last year, even if they check the box saying they understand three hundred fifty bucks is the minimum, they didn't read that. They just checked it because it's got a little red star next to it, and they knew they had to check it. Um, and so that can kind of help me. I don't I don't ask that in the discovery call, but I do look at it on the booking questionnaire because that may also change the direction of the conversation.